Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about some of the restaurants and foods we tried while we were in Prague. The first restaurant we went to was Restaurant Stoletti, located just to the south of the old town and only about a five minute walk from our hotel. The interior was very homey and comfortable, and the wait staff was very nice. Overall, the menu at this restaurant had a very good selection of specialties and Czech foods. All right, we're at the restaurant. We got some Krušovice Pilsner beer. It's good. It's very good. First meal here. Yeah. All right, so I got the pork sirloin with some potato pancakes. And then Catherine got the venison goulash with dumplings. With the fanciest dumplings I've ever seen. Yes. I definitely, I think they went for fanciness over portion size here. So. We couldn't just do dinner. We had to also get some dessert. So we got a chocolate cheesecake. And then some apple slices with prunes, and then ice cream. So we'll see how these are. So we just finished dinner, and now we're heading back to the hotel. And I think we both really enjoyed our meals. Right? Yeah. yeah, it was good. I got. I will say the pork was a little flavorless. Mm -hmm. If it didn't have that mushrooms, like the mushroom mm -hmm. sauce that it was swimming in, it would have been kind of flavorless. But otherwise, it was really good. I really liked my dessert. The apple yeah. and what was it? It was apple and prune, yeah. like prune, not juice, but like a prune mixture with lemon ice cream mm -hmm. like those flavors just went really well together catherine just got chocolate cheesecake so yeah which was good i mean it, it can't go good. wrong yeah. yeah so it was really good yeah the atmosphere at this restaurant was great and the food was delicious however we could have used a little bit more on the portion sizes and the cost you pay here is a little bit higher than you would expect for prague the wait staff was friendly but they didn't really wow us with their service Overall, we give this restaurant a solid three and a half out of five. We did like this restaurant, but we probably wouldn't go again. The next restaurant we went to was the Pivuvar Utri Ruzi, which is a restaurant as well as a brewery. The inside was amazing. There were beautiful paintings all over the walls depicting beer drinking throughout the centuries. And the atmosphere was very cozy a neat little place. Yeah, it's cute. I like it. All right, we got our beers. We already drank. We already drank some of it. Okay. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, and so this is actually their own brew. This is a brewery here, so. And it's just it's such a cute little place here. I like it. For our appetizer, we decided to split an entree, which is fried cheese and roasted potatoes. Yeah, we um, we want a nap, but we decided to go for the roast cheese. So, yeah. thank you. And here's the main course. Uh, Kevin got beef cheeks over yes. mashed potatoes. He's excited. I'm very excited. And then I got grilled chicken over grilled vegetables. Yum. That was really good. The atmosphere here was great, and the wait staff was amazing. They helped us pick out our dishes. They even gave us a sample of some of the beers that they brew here. Overall, the cost was pretty good, and the food was really good. This restaurant gets a 4.25 out of 5. We would definitely come back here if we were in Prague again. So what do we, what do we have here? Uh, we saw some place that was called the Devil's Chimney or something like that. Yeah, so it's just basically like sugary, sugary dough. fried dough with ice cream in, as yeah. as if it is a ice cream cone. Yeah. So it looks really good. Yeah. It goes without saying that this dessert treat was delicious. Another restaurant that we went to was Brodowski Dvor. This restaurant is another specializing in Czech food but it's located a little bit outside of the old town, 
right between the old town and the main train station. For us, this was about a 15-minute walk, so we were really hungry when we arrived. The restaurant was really cool inside, and there was a lot of attention to detail, all the way down to the oil and salt shakers. So we just had our venison appetizer, and it was almost like a pickled. I think you would call it. Um, but it was kind of like a pulled pork consistency, and it was very, very pasty. So we put it on our bread, and it was, I mean, it didn't look very good, but it was actually pretty good. Yeah, surprisingly. <laughs> Catherine said it looked like cat food, so. Yeah. All right, so I got the goulash, and then Catherine got the fried cheese with french fries. Half of what she just threw on the ground. But we'll get through it. Only two yeah. fell over. Yeah, we're excited about this. It smells really good. Alright, guys, well, we just got done with dinner. Um, it was really good. The portion sizes were huge. Yeah. Um, pretty good. I, I got the beef goulash, which the beef was really good. Didn't really like my potato pancakes that much. They weren't very flavorful, but the beef was really good. And then Catherine. Got the fried cheese. I really liked it from the last time we got it, so yeah. I got it again. Yeah, it was really good. And then the venison we got, the appetizer, it was good, but it was weird. Yeah. Uh, I'm we glad we tried it, but. Yeah, we didn't know we were getting like pickled venison, yeah. so but it was good. The atmosphere here was great. We felt like we were transported back in time to some sort of brew pub and restaurant in the Middle Ages. This restaurant was also one of the cheapest that we went to. After all the food we got, we only ended up spending a little bit more than 30 euros for the two of us. The food was also great. Where this restaurant was lacking, though, was on service. We had two different waiters over the time that we were there, and to be honest, they both seemed like they had better things to do, and were a little bit annoyed that we were even there. Still, this restaurant gets a solid 4 out of 5. So right now, we're just back at our hotel. Uh, we took a little bit of a nap, laid down a little bit, because honestly, we were pretty tired out from uh, this morning and afternoon. I'm having a little bit of coffee. Catherine's getting ready. Catherine's really excited about this, but we're going up to the Hemingway Bar, which is, for some reason, there's a bar just named after Hemingway that's really big into mixology, and apparently they have some really cool cocktails. So we're excited to check that out as well. You know, if you've seen our videos, that it's not complete without a walk down a sketchy alley that we didn't mean to come down, yeah. so. There we are. <laughs> the Hemingway Bar is not really a restaurant experience, but it was a culinary experience nonetheless. This bar focuses on mixology and has several different cocktails that you can try with special recipes that give you flavors you're not normally used to. In keeping with any type of Hemingway bar, this restaurant also served drinks with absinthe. Catherine got one of these drinks, and my first drink was an orange-flavored one. We got a second round of drinks as well. All throughout this experience, the staff were providing us with information on what exactly is in our drink and what we should expect to taste. They also helped pick our drinks out. The atmosphere in this building was unbelievable. It was very dark inside, but it felt extremely cozy. The entire atmosphere also felt very high class. Overall, this Hemingway bar was amazing, and we are so glad that we went here. Hey guys, so we are back from dinner, and we are back from the Hemingway Bar, which was really cool. It was really nice in there, and all of the servers were super nice. Yeah. The cocktails were delicious. Um, yeah, we each tried uh, two new cocktails, which was really fun. Yes, we did. And it, mine were very fruity and very good. And then Catherine had one with absinthe in it. Yep. So, um, not too much, though. So. No, no. She's not, she's not hallucinating right no, now. No, not yet. No. But it was very good. Very good. And now we are going to relax. We do know that Prague has a very big nightlife, but we are honestly just spent. So we are going to sit in the room 
and we are going to drink some of the Czech Republic's finest. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we're excited about that. Yep, we really are. <laughs> Too excited. Yeah. The atmosphere earns a 5 out of 5, being the best restaurant we went to. As far as friendliness, we also gave it a 5 out of 5. The staff were amazing, helped us with everything we needed, and provided us with an excellent synopsis of exactly what we were drinking. The drinks themselves were also very tasty. The only place where this restaurant lacked was on cost. By far, this was the most expensive restaurant we went to in Prague. Even though you're in the middle of the Czech Republic, you're paying Chicago prices for your drinks. For four drinks here, we spent almost 50 euros after tip. Regardless, we are giving bonus points to the Hemingway Bar, and we definitely give them a 5 out of 5 on our rating scale. We would definitely come back here if we were ever in Prague again. Well, that's all for now. Make sure you check out all of the other videos in our Prague series. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.